Welcome Aries to your weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast for January 25th through the 31st of 2016. I'm Athen and this is for Sidereal Astrology, very different from mainstream astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to click the link up above because the signs are different. All right, Aries, so this week, not a whole lot going on astrologically, but uh, a couple of very important aspects, one of which is that Mercury is going station direct here on Monday. And when he does this, he's going to be within one degree orb of Pluto. And because he's slowing down and it takes him some time to gain momentum, he will be within that one degree orb throughout the week. So this is all happening in your ninth house, which is the area that's been changing for many years with Pluto here, uh, which is the house of life path. It's the house of your philosophy, your outlook, your perspective and the adventurous spirits. So all of that is changing. And I think specifically about how you uh, see them. You know, Mercury, especially in your chart, rules your third house of practical insights. So how to practically approach your life path, how to practically approach these possibilities which are changing and shifting right now at the moment for you. So it's a great time to be open to changing your outlook on life, changing your perspective, uh, maybe even changing the way you communicate and think about things as well as your routine because Mercury does also rule your sixth house. So it's an excellent week for changing things at work, changing things around your daily activities, and perhaps even with your uh, general health or regiments. So that's going to be uh, the strong emphasis of the week. And I think just being open to change is an excellent way of working with that. What's quite nice is that Venus is going into that ninth house. So there is that lighter energy uh, going into February involving these possibilities. You probably have noticed last week that your values have changed a little bit, perhaps, uh, as they do once a year. Uh, maybe your relationships have changed a little bit since Venus rules your uh, second and your seventh house. But whatever it is, it's now much more open, much more freer in those areas with Venus there. And she does tend to lighten up a little bit that energy. But I still feel like it's going to be uh, a big week of, um, of change. And I think being open to that is certainly the key. Now, um, Jupiter, of course, is still conjoining up to that north node. So there is possibility still unfolding and things that uh, you could see that are shaping up for you to uh, implement that self-expression, your interest, your passions, which is this north node uh, making his way into your fifth house. So it's an excellent segue into February to continue to see what's possible with your interests in life and move them forward. One thing that's quite nice this week too is that the moon is coming off of that full moon in Cancer. So we'll be going through Cancer, Leo, and Virgo this week, which is this bottom right quadrant of your chart, which has to do with your inner relationship. So your own personal self-expression, maybe your personal life, your family life, and also again, uh, your self-improvement. And that'll be progressive as the week unfolds. Then as we get to the weekend, we've got uh, Venus sextiling Nept Neptune, more positive energy for those values, uh, relationships, maybe even the financial stuff could be quite easy going in that regards, which is quite nice. And then Mercury, of course, going back over that position from last week, squaring up to Uranus, which is helping you gain more freedom when it comes to your spiritual uh, aspects of life. So getting that rest, that relaxation, that meditative time out perhaps uh, can be quite uh, quite good if you are feeling that call to do that over the weekend. So all in all, the, the high point is certainly the fact that there are a lot of things still changing with your perspectives, with the practical daily stuff, being open to that, of course, being open to changing your perspective of life. And now with Mercury gaining momentum, though, it's about applying this stuff. You know, the past few weeks have been more introverted, more reflective. So now whatever you've learned over these past few weeks, really applying them. One thing I want to say, too, is that Mars is making his way into your seventh house. So your guys' attention, I think, has been over the past two months very much about self-improvement or your work or your regiments, daily activities. But now as you go into February, you'll notice uh, more mo momentum, more drive and more motivation, I think, to connect with your one-to-one -one relationships. All right. So Aries, have a great week. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you guys all next time.